Hi grade 11 student. So in today's video, we are going to continue with our value added text chapter, uh, which is part of term four. So basically, this uh, is the question that you are going to find when you write your paper two. Okay. So uh, I already done per, uh, part one, which we were doing calculation, a basic of what is VAT, exemption, zero rated and so on and so on so you must go and watch it if you haven't watched part one so into this lesson guys you are going to learn the issue of vet input and the issue of vet output so you have to to, to listen very very careful because uh, at some point it's difficult if you don't have an understanding but it's very simple if you have a understanding okay so uh, before we go to the question paper, let's uh, start by explaining these two keywords. Okay, when we talk about VAT input, uh, we are talking about a VAT that we claim from SARS. We claim, okay, we claim from SARS. Okay, why do we claim? The reason why we claim from SARS is because when we are busy with tradition of the company, we did some expenditures. Another keyword, we incurred expenditures. Okay, actually, there is no any benefit as a company that we have made. No benefit. No benefit by the company. No benefit by the company or the owner of this business. Okay, so SARS allow us to do some claim uh, when we purchase. But remember when we purchase our stock we have to pay that company a uh, tax so that tax that we paid we must claim it from SARS because remember we are going to pay them more when we sell that input is when we, we are claiming when we claim from SARS in other words this is assets to business because we are going to receive it's a receivable it's assets now let's go to VET output. VET output is opposite of whatever that we were saying. Number one, instead of claiming to SARS, now we are paying SARS. We have to pay SARS. Number two, we didn't incur expense, but we receive cash. Receive cash it is, can it can be either we receive cash through a, a sales when we sell to our customer it doesn't matter whether it's a cash or credit as long as we sell we have to pay sales and the other one we benefit remember guys of course when we sell to customer we benefit because customer give us what cash okay and the last one Instead of assets, this is liability. We owe SARS. This is liability. We owe SARS. We benefited. This side, we didn't benefit. That's why we're claiming. So, that's what you have to think about. Benefit or no benefit. So, once you have this basic that I was doing here, guys. Uh, this chapter is going to be very simple for you. Let's start. The following information led to the store for the VAT period end 31 October 2023. The, the business is owned by Terence Gabuza. All goods sold are subjected to 15% VAT. Required. Calculate the VAT amount that is either receivable from or payable to SARS on 31 October 2023. State whether the amount is either payable to or receivable from SARS and the information. Number A. 
amount owed by SARS on 1 October 2023 is 38,200. Okay, and information number B, that's what we're going to deal with transaction. Let's start with number information number A. Amount owed by SARS. SARS owe us. If SARS owe us, which means that we are claiming our balance will be this side. But if they said we owe SARS, your opening balance will come this side. Owed by SARS is 38,200. Okay, now number B, if you check, we have excluding column, vet amount, and inclusive. So we only focus on vet amount. Only vet amount, exclusive and inclusive is a no. The, the, those one, they will just help us to calculate a vet amount. Okay, let's take transaction number one. A credit sales. A credit sales, we have exclusive amount. They didn't give us vet. We must calculate. We, sell, we sold goods to custom. We benefit, which means that it must come this side. A sales... Unfortunately, we have to calculate first 420 because we don't have a VAT amount. Because it's exclusive, we have to say VAT amount of 100 and we're going to get uh, an amount of 63,000. 63,000. Just like that. Okay. Number two, cash purchase of trading stock. We purchase a trading stock. Did we receive cash or benefit? No which means that it's a input. Okay, we're going to say purchase. And in this case, no calculation because they give us VAT amount of 17,025. Okay. Goods taken by the owner for personal use. Now there is a question. Is there any benefit from uh, the company or the owner? Yes. Remember the owner took a personal uh, it took a good for personal use. He's going to benefit from using those goods that we already claim what a uh, vet, which means that we are going to regard it as he has benefited, and we have to put it this side, and uh, it's gonna be the rowings eleven thousand five hundred. In this case, we have to say fifteen over one one five. Why one one five? Because we take it from inclusive uh, column, okay? Then it's going to give us 1,500. Very simple. Goods returned by the customer. A customer buy goods, yes, we said it's benefited, by, but now the customer return goods. We didn't benefit because he returned and we give him his money, which means that uh, a return uh, will come this side. And it's gonna be three thousand multiplied by fifteen over hundred. It's hundred because we take it from exclusive uh, column for fifty. And the the last one, bad debt. Bad debt. Did we benefit uh, from bad debt? If we have write someone off. Did we benefit? We didn't benefit because this simply indicated that this person has never come back and paid us. So, which means that it must come this side. We didn't benefit because this person never paid us. 23,000 multiplied by 15 over 115. Okay. Uh, it's gonna give us three thousand. Okay, now we have to calculate uh, which side is higher. Uh, obviously, this side is the one which is higher. Uh, I need to recalculate here. Uh, it's sixty three thousand plus one thousand five hundred. Is gonna give us sixty four five hundred, and uh, this side is thirty eight two hundred plus seventeen zero twenty five 
plus 450 plus 3000 it's gonna give us uh, 58,625 simply means that uh, we're gonna say okay let me write it here uh, remember all, all side must be equal 64,500 which means that the balance will come here we just have to say it uh, this uh, 64,500 minus 58 that we got when we subtract everything 58,675 then it will give us Five thousand eight hundred twenty-five. Okay, five eight twenty-five. This is the balance which we have to carry it down this side. Balance. If we carry it down this side, it simply means that this is the payable. Remember, the question said calculate receivable or payable, because we almost are than the one that they owe us this we're gonna regard it as a what payable it's liability payable but if we carry it down this side it's gonna be a receivable so i hope you learn something so guys those who have been subscribed to this channel please let's make sure that we do so um so that we can keep growing and growing and uploading more videos and for those who want to join our extra class they are still available make sure that you join in time prepare with other students so that uh, we can go together so in grade 12 uh, those who will pass uh, those who are going to grade 12 immediately on 4 of january next year we are going to start with our lesson for grade 12 so you have to make sure that you join immediately in time so that you won't have any problem uh, in your metric so also guys you have to join us now uh, in grade 11 because now in term 4 we're going to do a revision for everything all topics from january until now we are going to revise everything uh, so that you can write your paper one and paper two very well so i will see you on the next class